Welcome back to Mr. Scott Maths. In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can share amounts in a ratio. So in this question here, we're told that Alice and Bill share 50 pounds in the ratio two to three. How much does each person receive? So the first thing that I would do anytime I see a question like this is to label my ratio. Now the two people here are Alice and Bill. So I'm going to write a ratio A to B. A for Alice, B for Bill. And the ratio that I'm given for these two people is two to three. And that's in the same order as it is written in the question. A to B is two to three. Now, since we're working with a total amount of money that we're sharing, I am going to add an extra part to my ratio, which I'm going to label T. That T is for total. Now the total in this ratio here, I get by adding the two parts together. Two add three gives us five. But the actual total, the amount of money that they share is 50 pounds. So I'm now going to use equivalent ratios. I'm going to continue down this total column. I'm going to put 50. Now I'm going to create two equivalent ratios here. And I can work with equivalent ratios by multiplying one ratio by some number to get the second ratio. Now I see I've got a match in my total column. So I think, what do I multiply five by to make 50? That's going to be 10. Since I've multiplied five by 10 to make 50, I'm going to do the same throughout the rest of my ratio, multiplying everything by 10. So for Alice, that's two times 10, which is 20. For Bill, that's three times 10, which is 30. And I now just need to take these two parts from my ratio as my answer. I see that Alice receives 20 pounds. And I see that Bill receives 30 pounds. That's my answer. In this second question, we're told that James and Harry share 36 pounds in the ratio seven to two. Again, we want to know how much each person receives. So like before, I'm going to start by labeling my ratio. I've got James and Harry here. So I'm going to label this as J to H. J for James, H for Harry. And then I'm going to write down my ratio, which was seven to two. Again, keeping the same order from the question. Now, like before, we're working with a total here. So I'm going to add a third part to my ratio, which I label T for total. And my total, I get by adding these two parts together. Seven add two is nine. Now, my real total in this question is 36 pounds. So I need to think, what do I do to go from nine to 36 by multiplying? And I'm going to multiply by four. So to create an equivalent ratio here, I'm going to multiply everything in this first ratio by four. Seven times four gives me 28. Two times four gives me eight. And what I should notice here is that these two parts of the ratio for James and for Harry, they add together to make our total of 36. So this gives us our answer. We find that James receives 28 pounds and Harry receives eight pounds. In this final question, we're told that Lauren and Dan share 42 pounds in the ratio four to three. And again, we want to find out how much each person receives. So let's start by labeling our ratio. That's going to be L to D, Lauren to Dan. And I'm going to write the ratio I've been given, four to three in the same order. Again, we're working with a total, and my total here is going to be seven. Four add three gives us seven. Now our real total was 42, so I'm going to put that underneath, and I find that I need to multiply seven by six to make 42. So to create two equivalent ratios, I need to multiply everything in this first ratio by six. Four times six gives me 24. 
3 times 6 is 18. And since 24 add 18 is 42, I'm happy with those two numbers. So this tells me that Lauren receives 24 pounds and that Dan receives 18 pounds. And that's our final answer.